guys tonight doing a little bit of a different kick we're gonna be doing vegetarian meal we don't always eat meat try to have a some clean meals mixed in as well tonight we're doing some sweet potato got some onion some multicolor peppers here got some Brussels some baby Bella mushrooms and some red skin potatoes we also have some ears of corn I got some spiralized zucchini squash Got butternut squash, it's also spiralized. Last but not least, some chickpeas. Simple. Tonight, just gonna be using some light garlic salt. I'm gonna put the garlic spread by Johnny's on a couple of things. Got the soy sauce again for Brussels sprouts. Got some ground cayenne to kick it up a notch. And uh, just using some plain extra virgin olive oil to cook on. So let's right, get some potatoes on here. Gonna start letting those brown up. They start getting a touch of brown on them. We're gonna move them under the pan with a little bit of water to uh, move them along so they get soft on the inside as well. And then we'll start adding some of our veggies on here. And just Check on the potatoes. Starting to get a good little brown on them here. Like I said, we got some red skin potatoes going. And uh, for me on my diet, I'm gonna actually stick to the sweet potatoes tonight. But uh, both are pretty dense. So of course they take quite a while. Get them browning on this side as well and then we're gonna put the lid over them. All right, I'm gonna move these down to this end. Keep them close together here. And make sure they all fit up under the pan. I uh, should probably do it there. All right, so now the next, uh, Next thing that has to cook the longest is going to be the butternut squash. So we're going to go ahead and start that on this end. We bought these in cubes, which are also good. If you've never tried to open a, a butternut squash before and peel it, it can be actually hard. So for convenience, first word problem, but we usually just buy them already cut. But uh, for the griddle top to kind of save on time, we found that these spiralized ones actually work really well. So for these, a little oil, I'm gonna put a little garlic salt on here, and uh, that's really all they take. This is really just about uh, time on the grill so that they actually soften up. All right, so what I got here is the corn. These ears of corn are gonna go on next. So I just drizzled really lightly some olive oil on top, put some garlic salt on here, I'm just rolling them, kind of get them evenly coated. And I'm just gonna put these up here right on the flat top. And we're looking pretty good so far, so good. All right, we'll give those a couple minutes. All right, I'm gonna check on our potatoes here. So these are looking pretty good. It's got a long time to go in terms of getting them soft. So I'm give them a little stir here. Brown it up really nicely. Cover these bad boys back up. Check on them here in a little bit. Brussels sprouts, or any really dense food. Put a little water on there. Definitely helps speed up the process. So I'm gonna put a little under here as well. Try to get those steaming. And then I'm gonna give these a good toss. These are starting to get some really good color. Here in just a minute, we'll take this off the hot part of the grill and we'll just let them keep simmering to cook them fully through. So next up, again, we're just going in order here based on how long it's going to take things to get done. I'm going to put the Brussels sprouts on and we're going to hit these with a little oil, get them going, get a nice brown on them. And we'll eventually get some water going on these bad boys as well. So a little splash of oil and just going to put a little garlic salt on these. Uh, we don't need too much. Uh, we're going to be doing soy on these as well once we're ready to finish them off. So that'll be good enough for now. Just going to give these a little stir, get the oil mixed up in there, and uh, let these start cooking down a little bit for us. I don't know, maybe a minute here. You can already see that these are starting to wilt a little bit. It's a good sign. So I'm going to move these over. And what I'm going to do here is get these steaming a little bit with some water. I'm just going to douse these in a good coat of water. You see the steam there? 
So I'm actually going to move my lid over. That'll help those cook up. And uh, I'm going to start the next veggies now. All right, here comes the fun part. All of our veggies, bell peppers, onions. Just going to scoop all these on there, one big pile. And we're also going to need olive oil on these. And this is where I'm going to actually use the garlic spread. So I'm going to give these a decent coat of olive oil. I'm going to come in with our Johnny's Famous garlic spread. We absolutely love this stuff. So check us out below in the description. I'll put a link for you guys if you're interested in getting it and trying it out. So, um, this is another level compared to regular garlic salt. If you want a thick, dense garlic taste. So, a little interesting challenge we never had before. We're actually getting rained on while we're doing this, but that's all right. We're undercover, just getting the spray from it. But uh, you can maybe see it actually hitting the griddle top. Other than it cooling it down a little bit, it shouldn't be a problem. You know, this can be uh, a little overwhelming to have this much stuff going on the griddle at once. But um, the really nice thing about it is if you use the sides to your advantage, there's cool spots. You can also run some of the grill off or you know really on low heat you don't really have to worry about burning anything uh, i use this hot end really to start stuff to finish it off to get it blackened up like i want it but um don't be afraid to put a lot on here you can fill the whole griddle top up there's nothing to worry about the main thing is just keep turning stuff uh, as you cycle through in between our clips here i've been stirring our uh, butternut squash, the Brussels, the potatoes, even rotating the corn here. So these Brussels are almost to a point where I would say they're ready for the soy. Uh, maybe give them another minute or two here just to blacken up a little bit more. And uh, last but not least, we're going to get our chickpeas and our squash on here. And then we're going to get ready to take everything off and plate it. These are baby bellows. So I'm just going to cut these up a little bit, make them more bite sized for everybody and gonna let them continue to cook off just gonna move them out here out of the way and then we are gonna get our zucchini spiral and our chickpeas going all right so here we are chickpeas going on kind of round those up all together so they stay in one spot and going in with the zucchini spiral Zucchini doesn't take nearly as long to cook as the butternut squash and it uh, really depends on if you like it like al dente or more done. We like a good brown on it, but uh, we don't like it to get to a point where it's soggy. So I'm going to hit this with just a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to finish these off with a little garlic salt and we're going to get those working, get them browned up, making a good little pass through them. And, uh, that won't take long to get sunk in there. So just gonna give these a nice little stir. Let it kind of coat everything evenly. And then I'm gonna space it all out, nice and flat. And let that soy get a nice kind of char to it from the grill. It kind of caramelizes a little bit. You can zoom in there, you can really see the color. It's really looking nice. Let that go for about 20 seconds. We're gonna flip it and let the other side toast up a little and then those are ready to come off. Our sweet potatoes, red skin potatoes, got our soy brussels ready to go, got our ears of corn here we've been turning, those are nice and soft, got our baby bellas, we got our butternut squash here that's ready to go, we got our quadruple pepper mixture with onions, and here we're finishing off the chickpeas, just wanna get these crispy, no secret care, and last but not least, uh, we'll have our zucchini, we're gonna get this off and get it inside and we'll plate it and let you guys know how it tastes. Here we got our Brussels. Try to keep this separate. It's fine to mix it all up. I mean, usually it all gets mixed up anyway while you're eating it, but everybody may not want to eat all the same things. So try to keep those separate. Come in here with our potatoes. As you can see, we dice these up really small, almost like hash browns, if you would. But uh, not only do they get nice and crunchy, but um, it doesn't take as long to get them cooked down as well. So there's our potatoes. 
It's gonna come in here with our butternut squash. Ooh, look at that nice brown. That's gonna be really good. All right, got our peppers and onions here. Love, love, love peppers and onions. I think almost every night we cook on the griddle, we find a reason to use peppers and onions. Nothing wrong with that. here. Check on our zucchini. Starting to cook down nice. Almost ready for that. Let's get our mushrooms off. These mushrooms, I don't know what it is about this flat top, but the flavor you get is just unreal. All right, so for our corn, I'm going to leave that on. Make sure this last side is getting cooked. Shouldn't have any issues there with that. And uh, just gonna finish these up here for a couple more minutes and we'll get the rest of this off. All right, last of it's ready to come off. Here's our sweet potato. Sweet potato and butternut squash are definitely hard to cook. It takes forever for them to get done. All right, our zucchini spirals are ready to go. Look at those suckers. Those look really good. Nice and brown, soft, tender. That's what we're looking for. Love the texture of the spirals cut in that format when we're eating them. And all right, it looks like our chickpeas have dried out, so they are no longer soft. They actually have a toast to them. So you can keep them on to preference. The longer you keep them on, obviously you have to be careful not to burn them, but uh, they actually can get crunchy. Some people like to cook them in the oven so they get crunchy, but those are always good. And then last but not least, here comes our ears of corn and dinner's ready. We will see you guys inside of the table. Guys, give me a shot of our spread here, a little bird's eye view. Got the potatoes, got those mushrooms here, peppers and onions, got our butternut squash, the soy brussels, we got our zucchini spirals, chickpeas, ears of sweet corn, and last but not least, our sweet potatoes. All right, let's guys, get here we are at the table eating. Family consensus. Red skin potatoes and sweet potatoes are the best, followed by a close second with the corn. And all the veggies are good, but the favorite is the peppers and onions. I personally think it's the Johnny's, but who knows? Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and God bless.